There we go. What's up, everybody? Joseph Davis here, Jad's Pops. Two VRs in one day. Yeah, that's a record. This VR is for Amy MC on her 300 sub goal. Um, congratulations, Amy. That's a big milestone. That's awesome. Um, I'm a newer subscriber. I've been watching your videos for the last few weeks. And uh, like I said, congratulations on your on your 300 subs. Um, I'm an old timer. I've been around for a while. Not don't really have too much subs, but I watch a lot of videos that everybody puts out. Um, smoking my Missouri Mirsham. I can't remember what that is. Maybe the country gentleman, or I think it might be a country gentleman. And smoking in it. It's a Mississippi River. Um, you talked about your five top five tobaccos. Mine's, I could say it real fast. Mississippi River, uh, Orlick, North Strong, Kentucky, uh, Star of the East, Cordell Dale, Star of the East, Penzance, Stonehaven. Well, about to try some Stonehaven. Uh, have never had no Stonehaven yet. But it being Virginia, I'm sure I want to get hooked on that. Just a, there's a whole array of, of pop tobacco. I've got turned on to some of this trout stream. Like it pretty good. But I'm not going to, I'm not going to get into the whole top five or top ten for 2016. Uh, this is, this is my VR to you. <coughs> um, you've done three different categories. Other, briar, and I think. Uh, corn cob, I think. Um, I think I'm going to, even though I'm smoking a corn cob, my previous video was with my Missouri Mersham hardwood. Um, I have to stick to my, to my roots, or to, to my guns. I'm a, I'm a hobbyist pop maker. <coughs> And my favorite pops has got to be briar, so I guess that's put me in the briar category. Um, awesome prizes are getting away, dear. That's that's some nice pops. I really enjoy them. Wish I could enter all three. Uh, let me know if I can. I might have to make three different videos, but uh, I've got to stick to my briar roots just because. That's that's the type of pops I make. Um, Briar. The thing about briar is, is um, they t they they could pass the test of time. Um, you know, you have a briar pipe, you smoke constantly. You know, as long as the pipe's taken care of, uh, briar will last years and years and years, uh, 100 years, 150 years, depending on, you know, what the elements of the the elements of the are done to the pipe, uh, the abuse to the pipe, somebody that's took care of your pipe. Um, also, something you know, when I'm dead and gone, and my kids or my grandkids come across uh, dads or papas or grandmothers' uh, pipe collection. To know that, you know, hey, my dad made this pipe, or uh, my grandfather made this pipe. Um, you know, from the time he lived to the time he died, he made so many X amount of pipes that's out there floating around in the world. Um, I've been, I've been blessed. Uh, my pipes don't sell for high dollar. I tend to make pipes out of briar. Uh, Italian briar, Grecian briar, um, Algerian briar. My favorite's Italian briar, but uh, you know, you make something and and it smokes good, smokes smokes really great, and uh, you know, other people want to smoke it and enjoy it. Uh, briar pops is just my go-to. Even though I use, like I said, I use the Missouri Mirsham's. 
uh, these I, I use a lot of work pipes. I'll give you a prime example of the test of time. This uh, this pipe here. Hold on just a second. This is a Savinelli second. Um, this is something that Savinelli made in their forties and fifties and sixties, and whenever they would something would be off about it, they would uh, they would set make these pipes and sell them to uh, brick and mortars, and the brick and mortars would make it their house pipe. You know, uh, they'd stamp it like a number series, and they would turn around and and sell them to these brick and mortars. Brick, brick mortars would put it on their walls, their house pots, put their stamps on it, and uh, sell a little bit more than, you know, what the Savinelli's or whatnot, you know, would cost. Um, another prime example is pipes uh, stand the test time is this one right here. This is a hard castle, got the little little crown on the side of it. I don't know if y'all can see that or not. Let me put my hand back up behind it. This is a hard castle root briar. Look how, look how big that thing is. That's a big pipe. Uh, this is probably about 20s and 30s. This was before I think Dunhill bought out Hardcastle and bought the whole the whole shebang from them. This is when Hardcastle was trying to get uh, trying to get recognized for their pipe making. Um, this pipe here was probably about twenties or thirties, and as you can tell, there's absolutely nothing wrong with this pipe. This pipe, uh, even taking it apart, it's a little icky, wicky, wicky, wicky. I mean, it's a little. Well, scratch it either right like, but this thing has held up, um, you know, for your years and years and years for, and will probably hold up a whole lot more. I really want to redo this pipe and take it back down and refurbish this pipe, but, you know, that's what, at a later date. This thing is just, it's immaculate shape for as old as the pipe is. Um, I could probably run some pipe cleaner stuff, so throw some tobacco in it, and she's good to smoke. But anyway, that's a that's my take on the pipes. I love my my Meerschaums. I love uh, I made pipes for a while with cherry wood. I love the cherry wood pipes. I've got a couple of uh, Turkish mirror pipes. Um. I have made some mortar pipes, never smoked a mortar pipe, but I have made them. But when it comes down to briar, briar is the, my, my most favorite pipes, just, uh, you know, and I'm a sucker for grain. I love wood grain. I work with wood all the time and just wood grain is just, uh, just my way on it. I, I like I said, I'm a sucker for grain, but anyways, that's about it on my BR to you. Uh, like I said before, congratulations on on your subs. Um, awesome prize package you got for your subs going on. Uh, love your content. Your content's awesome. It's almost like a breath of fresh air. Boy, this Mississippi beer is good. Golly. Yeah, my earlier video to Pots Little Piper, I was smoking some more of that Dark Strong Kentucky. That stuff, I'm hooked on those two right now. I think I'm going to end up smoking two or three cans of it and before I get burned out on it. But anyways, um, thank you, Amy, for having the having your contest. And hope to see you around. Uh Best wishes to the rest of your shoves that has entered your goal. Um, other than that, Joe Davis, Jad's Pops here. God bless and smoke on, dear. You have a good one.